was hard yoga, wasn't it? You see what you're doing there with toffee? Mm. Now, that's mindfulness. You're really letting yourself just get into just, and just having the minute to just, to just stroke her. It's because I feel sad. Why do you feel sad? Because everything changes. Right. Well, you can't. That's a good thing. Imagine yeah, if no, it didn't. You get, you get one, no, no, no. As far <laughs> as you go back to all the other worries and just, just it's such a, it's, it's like a holiday. It's like a moment away and then you're back in line. But what, but what Rachel says is true. No, no, Rachel, what she says is true. But... Is that if you, if you, you know, you can hold on to that and let, and let the world sort of spin around you a bit. I don't know. What do you think, Toffee? She's reading the five love languages. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. She came down the night she was reading that. Yeah. This is homework for Mark and I, so we're going to do a How to Stay Married on it. But Toffee, we haven't been rested it off Toffee for days. She's just, just so She's obsessed to it. with it. Yeah. What's her love language? Demanding. What's your love language, Toss? Oh, what's your love language? Mm. Give us your love language. Mm. You could put some nice love music in. What do you want those for? Uh, Tracy and I are doing our first Art by Box children's party. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, look at these, the coloured ones. Yeah, They're nice. Those, what are you going to do with them? Um, it's a party for four-year-olds, so they're going to make uh, little popsicle animal So what, you things. make the boxes for the party? No, we're going to the party. We're actually going to the party. Oh, what? And doing a running the an activities. art lesson. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Hello. Oh. Oh, oh, I love all this stuff, but I never know what the hell I would do. Yeah, it's like a sweetie shop for Kinky's me. Kinky's got a big jar of that and she doesn't need it. Give it to me if you need it. It's like a sweetie shop that's good for you. Yeah, it is, it? isn't it? Mm. See that, but they look very edible. We've just got first signs of Christmas. Christmas ribbon. Oh, it smells very gluey up here. Oh, I like the ribbons bit. God, it reminds me of when we were... Um, when we were kids doing dance festivals and all of that. Yeah. You'd have to come and get your ribbons for your hair. Oh, Do you remember how scary that all was? Yeah. Jeez. Something that just makes me feel safe. <laughs> with colours. When you see like... Colours. I wish I'd done sewing with the girls. The thing is, I'm not good, not good at it. Yeah, she was. Well, I used to be. She never tries at anything. <laughs> she <laughs> she said, I'm not very good at that thing, is it? I'm a bit of a pathetic wimp. Um, what else? What else? What else? Jewelry. Oh, I'm going to be making earrings yeah, for the store. What store? Christmas store. We've got two Christmas stores. Oh, nice. I'm making Christmas puddings and Tracy's making Brussels sprouts. God, look at that. A pound for all this. I know. I know. Shit. What do you need? can't say what does she need. No, she needs to come shoes. Dina, see? I don't need this now, now I've got up my box. Exactly. We don't do paint by numbers. numbers. No, 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 I'll get told off. So attracted to little pigs. Me too. I, you said that and I was here just like, well, what is it about them? I was going to buy them and I thought, what are you going to use I've them got for, Nadia? Drawers, drawers for the little pigs. It's so weird. Do you think it's because it takes you back to sort of doll's house days and maybe, dolly days? Maybe. And makes you feel child. Oh, look, look, they do them in pink they look, now. They look useful, but they're absolutely useless. Yeah, they are. Oh, these are sweet. What are these for? Little tags, aren't they cute? They're so cute. For card making. Oh. 
very cute. What are these? Stamping the back of our handmade cards. Oh, nice. Oh, what for Christmas? Yeah. God, it's so weird. You're probably in Christmas yeah. mode. I hadn't even bloody thought about so Christmas. To do. And now you've made me nervous. <laughs> so, what are you doing? Christmas cards? Yeah, we're doing cards online, but we do loads of cards for the store as well. I'm looking for some embossing tools now. Bossing? No, an embossing tool if it slapped me in the face. <laughs> What's that? For 15 quid? What the hell is that? Oh, mini vacuum cleaner. Oh, for God's sake. I've seen it all now. That's ridiculous. What are these? These are little cut out little things. So I cut out little stars to put on the cards with these. Oh. Oh, marvellous, really normal. God, I think there's this whole world I know nothing about. This is so funny. So we started off by talking about water fast, and Dina was saying there's this brilliant guy. What's his name? I don't know, but I love him. 30 day water fast he recommends on YouTube. And she always already wants to do just one. No, so then I went, she goes, <laughs> I mean, if I went to Cornwall or something like that, I could do 30 day fast. I said, I couldn't do a 30 day water fast wherever I was. I said, you know, why not start off with a five day if you want to do it or or one day? And then we got down to one day and then it was like, do you think you could have tea on a water fast? So we went from a thir possible 30 day water fast <laughs> to a day where we're trying to work it out whether we Which could have coffee, we have. whether we could have tea. <laughs> no, I think you can only have, I think you could have herbal teas. It wouldn't do any, make any yeah, difference. Well, I think it'd be good. But apparently it's so good, just rests off your whole body. Oh, unbelievable. It reduces your blood pressure. It, it just completely resets your metabolism. Well, like 16 metabolism, does. Resets your metabolism, everything. 16 yeah, You I'm know, if you that. could back on that. But you know, Mark's Lockdown, on Lockdown, chub. Off you're coming. You know what Mark's doing so well on? That Huel. Oh, is he? Yeah. So he has the Huel and then he has one meal. Yeah. A day, like, and I say, have it. Have carbs, chicken, everything. Yeah. He's just gone. Oh. I don't like them drinks. I like food. I like food. I like food. Solids. So we're back to solids. not being able to do a water fast. We need solids. <laughs> Guess where we are, girls and boys? The home of the... Ikea. Now, I was thinking the last time we were here was just middle of pandemic when they opened yeah. for a few weeks yeah. before they then went back into lockdown. Do you remember? And I was, I remember being in the, in the queue here and being really scared of other people's breath. <laughs> it's pretty busy in here today. God, I should have bought We were very lucky to find a space. Really? Oh, God. Here we are. Ikea. Do you remember a time when we'd come to Ikea where we wouldn't even think of not having the meatballs? <laughs> and now we wouldn't think of having them ever since they found stuff in them. Do you remember? Was it to find them? No, I'm not going to say. I don't want to get sued. <laughs> um, but yeah, here we are in Ikea. We're oh, both walking around going, what did we come for? We, went, we don't know. So I bet we'll leave with a potted palm and a light that's too big. Oh, actually, I do need a light. What's this for? No, this makes me laugh, this table. It's got a big crack in it. That so, is so, so nice. So said, oh, how does this open it's it? Does it, it get wider? So that, no, it's just a design feature for it to get full of food because it depends what a messy eater you are. Oh, of course. Very a bit rude. rude. <laughs> I'm in the danger zone now. I just love the kitchen area. But I know I'll end up buying a load of stuff that I don't actually need. <laughs> I do that all the time. Whenever I come to Ikea, I get home and I've got a load of stuff and I look at it and I think, what am I going to do with it? I mean, like, I want to buy that now, but what would I use it for? What would I use that for? Shopping. Oh, it's for shopping. <laughs> I think that's the thing. Stacey's always telling me to get. Oh, they're very handy. Hang on, what? Ah. You put them in your cupboard so you can stack up things. Ah. So they can get organised. <laughs> ah, I need that. Yeah. But how do you know what fits in your cupboard? You know, my cupboard's where I've got my plates, where Kiki said she's so frightened one day they're going to kill her because they're all going to fall down. <laughs> Which one? Well, my cupboard's behind the. Cooker? Yeah. Yeah, these would fit. Would they? Yeah. So you can get two Ooh. like that, you see. Oh, I could put the plates on, but yeah. I've got a, I don't know if I could. I don't know if it'd fit, because I've got that shelf in between. Just get Just them. Get them. Just see, get them. another thing I'm going to get and I'm not going to be able Just to use. Get it. Is that one or two? That's one, that's the big square one, and then you've got the singular little ones that sit at the back of it. So oh. you could have that sitting at the back. Oh, yeah. I don't really understand don't it. Understand. I think you just need a one square one. Just try it. I just said to Dina, 
I love oh. Reese, but I don't know why. And, what did you and say? Mark, and I said, what would Mark say? He goes, I hate fucking bastards. <laughs> he would, because he'd say, what are you going to use him for? <laughs> it's true. That's my idea thing. I go, oh, that's nice. But look, that looks nice. Yeah, exactly. Does that look nice in my hall? No. No. <laughs> no. Now, you can all think who would like this. Toffee. <laughs> can you imagine if you got this? <laughs> no, I think that would send her kleptomania crazy. Wouldn't be good for her. Oh, no. Oh, I've got to get those for the girls. Cinnamon rolls. I love those things. Well, I don't know if they like the ones in America, but they love the ones in America. <gasps> and look, dangerous. This is the danger zone. Should we get Mum some dime bars? Yeah. She loves them. Yeah, yeah, she does. Mum, Mum. She'll hide these, because she'll know everyone else will get them otherwise. Well, I bought her rum raisin and chocolate the other day. And then I opened the bar and I went, who ate this? And she was, I didn't touch it. I said, oh my God, I've got to take it back to Lidl because somebody's eaten the top bit. And there he was sitting there, quiet as anything. Dad. Yeah. <laughs> you know why? Because his body needed it. <laughs> my body needs it. I'm looking for a shelf. Yeah. I don't need a man to drill with. You don't need a man for what? To drill my shelf. What do you drill it yourself? You well, can get things like that. I haven't that. got a drill. Be more Stacey. I've We've got, got a drill. drill. Have you got a masonry drill? I think so. Oh, well. Otherwise, I wonder if just sticks on the wall. Sticks? Yeah, they have them. St what, with glue? No, I don't know how it works. Doesn't sound very safe. Doesn't sound like a good idea, does it? <laughs> it started buying things. Nonsense things. No, but that will be very, very handy. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, I love these little things. Yeah, but you're never going to use it. These baking trays are really useful. Yeah. These are great. These are really good. Don't you find with IKEA you just pick things up because you think it's going to be cheap? Yeah, you yeah, put it yeah. in your basket it's and realise it's not it's cheap. It's all a blooming room. Yeah. Right, me and Dean are trying to work out what you would use this for. It's called a grill tider. A grill tider? Yeah. It's in, in, <coughs> in IKEA in Sweden, I think I've said this before, everything has English names. Here we've really? all got yeah. Swedish names. God, I didn't know that. But I'm just getting these to encourage me to make Coke bowls. I love. Can you put hot things in bamboo? Yeah. Can you? Aye. Oh, maybe I'll get four. I what? swerved it. I was going to pick up a load of cushions what? and I was like, no. I wanted to buy this because it was £3.50. What is it? A blind that you can just stick on a window. <laughs> that you don't need a man for? Yeah. A blind that you don't need a man Where are you going to stick it? <laughs> Have you even got a window for no. it? I wanted to buy for Finley to take to, to Leeds and show you might have a window you need to stick this on. <laughs> Did you buy it? No, I didn't. I was good. Oh, I don't effing believe this. Our oh, trolley's gone. Frick's Has it got everything in of yours? I've got my stuff. It was your, but you had your pokey bowls in there. And... Do you think somebody might have picked it up thinking it was theirs? No, I think maybe somebody's reeled it off thinking it's theirs. Well, let's go around and chase them and find them. No. Oh, this way, this way, God. This way. Oh, bloody hell. Well, you know what, Dina? It probably means I wasn't supposed to yeah, get them. It's just somebody who's too lazy to get their own trolley. Really? Yeah. Do you think? No, I think somebody's taken it by accident. It. Where is it? Okay. Where? Oh yeah, she picked up the wrong one. <laughs> I think you might have taken the wrong trolley. That's <laughs> oh, alright. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was funny. I thought, oh, I'm going to be saved from having bought all the stuff I don't need, but we got it back. <laughs> I found a man-free thing. Man-free thing. Just hang it on the door. She doesn't want the man, she just wants his drill. It's not like she can't use a drill. So she doesn't want to spend money on exactly. a drill. So she needs a man with a drill. Or she that needs something. Come and then go away. <laughs> and then bog off. 
she just needs his drill nothing more just the drill post pandemic god i used to think the uh cues were bad in ikea look now snaking around the whole shop these are serious cues dina yeah well i like these plates nice color no no stop now just stop it's now about i don't know three days later <laughs> It's not, it's moving fast. We're resisting the urge to get a hot dog. We're resisting the urge Vegan to buy the meatballs. Dog. We're resisting the urge. So we haven't eaten that, that bad. All we've got is dime burrs and cinnamon and all of that stuff. I'm going to sneak it into the house. <laughs> anyway, thank you for coming around Ikea with us. Freshly baked. Splits. Oh, yes. The original scone. What's scone? Oh, that's a thunder and lightning one with uh, golden syrup and clotted cream. And that one's jam and clotted cream. And they're warm and delicious and wonderful. And I think you wish you were married to me. Dina, would you say that the um, Cornish pasties have gone down well that I bought from Cornwall? Yeah. <laughs> Who would you say ate the most? Yeah, sure. I did. <laughs> What ones did you try, Dad? Everyone. Half a vegan, half a steak and children, <laughs> half a steak. Oh, it must have had the cheese and onion because that's gone. Well, yeah. They are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> well, Which so. one was your favourite, Dad? <laughs> Amazingly, the vegan one is the excellent one. Really? Mm. So that's one you started with, but you thought you'd better try all the others before you went back to the vegan? Hmm? You started with the vegan, and then you had the cheese, and then the steak. And I'm back with the vegan now. No, you're not. That's <laughs> steak. steak. That's steak. <laughs> the reason you think the vegan is so good is it's the steak. The vegan was good. Mm. Yeah, it was really good. All of it is very good. Now it's time for pudding. <laughs> Dad won't want pudding. Oh, you reckon? Right. <laughs> I don't think you'll want pudding. And if there were two puddings, he'd have two. <laughs> What's for one for pudding? <laughs> More pastry. Wait until you've finished your lunch before you pass. Your dinner. Your dinner. Have your your dinner. dinner. Eat your dinner. You'll get no pudding. You mix my arrow. No, I didn't. I'm trying to do it so I don't knock it off. <laughs> So I wasn't sure about bringing the pasties back. I thought they might be a bit heavy. I thought they might be a bit difficult for the vegans. <laughs> vegan at the vegan pasty, thank you very much. <laughs> but he's selling himself as a vegan these days. He's part-timer. He's part-timer. Are you a part-timer vegan, Dad? Part-timer. Yeah. <laughs> it's for the gram. That's why I put so much jam in. What's gram mean? The Instagram. Oh. So I just made these for the No Name Sunday show. And I said to them as I was making them, I've got to rush these round to my mum and dad. So I don't eat them. Dad, what do you think of them? Uh, they look fantastic. Yeah. They'd go, they'd go well with tea, wouldn't they? With a cup of tea. <laughs> well, you've got an arak there. I'll finish the arak quite soon. <laughs> so, Dina, what do they remind you of? Um, you know... the Donut splits we used to get from Broomfields whenever oh, Broomfields yeah. was about. And they smell like that as well. They smell exactly like that. Oh, now you've put your nose on it. I've got to eat it. It's so funny because I was supposed to weigh out two ounce pieces of dough. And I did that, Dina, and it was so tiny that yeah. I've made. But now you've actually cut it into the size I was supposed to make it. Yeah, that's I mean, funny. That's, that's, nobody can eat that. What's it like, Mum? Nobody can eat one. A whole one. Lovely. No. Is there a vegan? What, nobody? How <laughs> <laughs> old <laughs> Somebody <laughs> might be able to. <laughs> yeah, I've never had a cream tea with a bun like this. It's always scones, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I mean. This is ancient. Okay, so this is what we've got to now, is it? Because of this bloody thing out here. This meter, you're hanging up stuff on radiators that aren't on. 
Babe, we're gonna have towels for weeks. Just found your missing bank card in the washing machine. Well, what's that got to do with the price of bread? Well, you're hardly a beacon and paragon of perfection. <laughs> I'm not a paragon of perfection. I'm very, very not. I'm the most imperfect person I know. No, but, no, darling, we've got a big house. You should never leave house. a dryer on when you're out. I never put a dryer on when I'm out. That's, one That's what I tell up. you. Anyway, good morning. <laughs> Kiki's, Mark's got to take Kiki up to the school because she's got to have a COVID test, which is so weird for us, something sort of, and I'm taking her to school tomorrow. So we're all feeling a bit, Oh. First, day of term. Um, first day of term feelings. Um, yeah, and so Mark is hanging up the stuff on the radiators to save the meter. Mark, we're going to be looking at that Cornwall, Cornwall towel. Bet you, watch it on Coffee Morning. I bet you see for weeks that towel up behind. Time we're back later today, they'll all be dry. Who do I look most like today, Mark? Joe 90, Chimney Sweep. Oh my god. I look like a short ditch wanker. You do, you just need a beard. Just a beard oil and you're all right. Hang on, Mark. Can I get a beard? Oh my god. That's it. You work, oh at, a, you work at a tech company. My face is back. My friend is back. I was just saying to Simone, I miss. I was sat in Cornwall and I was looking at Tomorrow. I really miss Simone. I just felt like your energy is just so lovely. It always makes me but, and of course she makes me beautiful because she keeps her be my beauty in her bag. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello, Sinedra, hello, our new favourite loose woman. Oh, we love see. her. And there's gorgeous Donna who won Hi. an award. Tell them about your award. Oh, we won the Women at Home Best uh, Makeup Brush Cleaner Award yesterday. Yeah. yeah. That's all with my makeup brush. <laughs> <on. laughs> So if you want to if you want to check her out, she's on Instagram at Donna May London. There you go. <laughs> Give a little plug for your friends. That's what I say. Wow, wow, wow. So this is a momentous day, really. Um, Kiki's gone back to school. I can't quite believe it. We can't quite believe it. Me and Nads, we're sort of excited. We're slightly nervous. We're fearful we're hopeful um all these things but you know it's been a fight we've talked many times about homeschooling i know a lot of people like to have a moan about it and say it's awful and we're awful and it's always awful if people homeschool but it was a solution that we felt we had no choice to take uh, or to make um and it sufficed and it sustained our children over a period of time for a variety of very real uh, issues for both of them in different ways um, and as we say in the book that we've written um, homeschooling we don't advocate homeschooling as a permanent solution or as a, sol a solution for all children um, it works for some it wouldn't work for others the vast majority it wouldn't work for but it does work for some that need to be taught and catered for differently this has been a, p a process of you know, Kiki said today, you know, she said, oh, I, I, you're going to miss those one-to-one -one lessons. Oh, I'm going to miss, you know, us going through stuff in a fun way, in a silly way. And I said, look, you know, this is, you've built yourself and you've got yourself to a point in your head and in your heart where you feel confident because she had real issues with teachers. She had real issues with the way in which classes and schools often say to you, put your hand up. Do you know the answer? And there's a lot of, you know, for the more nervous kid, there's a lot of humiliating and fearful moments in schooling. Um, for the brasher kids, it's fine, and that's good. But we can't forget the more sensitive children. And so for a sensitive child, she's taken this time to move through subjects and to move through herself. And she's got to the stage today where uh, I just dropped her off. And she was, yeah, she's nervous sighted, as we call it. But she's like, yeah, I'm ready for this. This is cool. You know, she, she sort of talked about, she, we were talking about the fact that she is really grateful to the homeschooling journey she's been on that allows her to feel like she can gently, and she has gently stepped towards this new chapter in her life. But as I said to Nads, I said the biggest difference is going to be me and Nads. I mean, obviously, there's more work time now because, you know, three to four hours a day was taken up with teaching, homeschooling, supervising, and all that kind of stuff. 
Um, so there's that. We don't have that really difficult um, balancing act to to conduct. Um, Maddie's getting a job and she's looking at a, a degree in acting. So and that's great. It's going to be a huge period of change, but I think it's going to be a huge opportunity for all of us. And don't forget, as you parents out there know, with your kids going to school, just because your kids go through a school gate or go through into a school building or into a classroom, that ain't the end of our story helping her. And it's like I said to Kiki, any subject, any area you're struggling with or you're doubtful about, we are the kind of, or I am certainly the kind of parent that will sit down with her at the end of the day and steer her through it so that she understands it and can get through it. But I have to say, I'm so proud of her. Um, I'm really proud of what we've done, which is to run against, uh, swim against the, the stream, swim against the current. You know, when often wondering, oh my God, have we done the right thing? Have we done the wrong thing? Because we've been flexible with the idea that we haven't, we haven't said you've just got to do this and you must stick with it. I think we're quite proud of the fact that we've got her to this point. It doesn't necessarily mean it's all going to be hunky-dory from here on in. It's not. There's going to be highs. There's going to be lows. But yeah, anyway, I just wanted to share with you. It's a massive moment in our family. It's a massive deal. It's a big thing. Um, and we're both emotional about it in a good way. I think Nadia spoke about it on Loose Women uh, the day before yesterday. And yeah, it's weird. But of course, I feel so protective and I feel so affectionately towards the girls that... I, I tell you what I did do without telling her. I used to do this when she was young and she was, you know, in floods of tears going to her school. I put loads of kisses in her bag. And I've just texted her and said, there are some kisses in your bag in case you need them today. Anyway, just thought I'd share this moment with you. We're not going to talk about it too much more because Kiki's very private. But we just wanted to share that element from our perspective. Um, yeah. Did you get, did you get, did you get dressed for Beyonce? Yeah, I didn't realise it was Beyonce. I got <laughs> dressed for Beyonce. Lisa said there's someone down there to see you and this is it, because it is. Carlitos is 18th birthday. What was it like showing your ID? It was weird, he asked for my ID and then I was like, I thought he was going to say no. <laughs> and then, I don't know why, I was just, I thought he was going to say no. And then, because my birthday was two days ago, I showed him it and he went, happy birthday. Like Did that. he? Like, God, he really oh, checked it then. Look at all these. Look at these pictures. Oh. Oh, I love this. Carlitos. The f oh, look at him. Oh, your mum. Your, your missus done half put on a good spread. Tried me up the wall, she was. <laughs> she always does every time you ever do. Wow, look at this. There you go. This is <laughs> What are these here? They're oh, and cakes. It's going to be cake. And what's in here? Uh, chicken. Oh. Whoa! Chicken, uh. potatoes. I was saying pasta. today, when I was cooking for the Sunday show, I was saying, you should come one day and we'll do cooking for the Sunday show and you can do all your oh, Spanish that'd be stuff. Nice. Look, what I made. We'd love you to do your Look what I made, Teddy. Oh, did I'm you make it? To... Oh! <coughs> Oh my god, what's in it? It's the empanada. But what's in it again? Pepper? So it's tuna, peppers, onions, garlic, and it's chicken. Chicken. Oh, oh my god. Oh, it's going to be delicious. Oh, you can have the whole thing. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's going to be 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 nice. Oh, that's going this one, Liz, just gets me this one. <laughs> I know, I love that one. That one's my favourite. It's got to be with the cowboy hat. <laughs> Where's the one that I absolutely hate? Oh, it's at that end. Oh, look, that's got to be Carl's dad. Oh, yes. Image. Oh, they're all beautiful. There's your mum. There's a lot of ones that didn't, didn't, didn't come out. Is that him there? Yeah. Oh my God, what a beauty. What a beauty. I don't know who any of these people are, but they are all teenagers and they are probably dying that they are in this little film. Say hiya. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> 
Are you having a nice birthday, Carlos? Yeah, lovely. Yeah. <laughs> What's been your favourite bit so far? Every bit. Ah. Ah. You two, 18 together, give each other a hug. Ah. <laughs> Amelia and Khalid. I haven't filmed anything because we basically were just having a fantastic time. You can hear them all in the garden. We're all a bit pissed. We've had a dance. We've had a sing song. We've done a happy birthday. We've eaten so much. A lot of cake, a lot of stuff. It's like half past 10 now. I've got a jet cab. It's going to take me an hour and a half to get home. Got to shoot the Sunday show in the morning. And then I'm going to Stacey's um, baby shower. But how I'm going to do all of that, I don't actually know, but do you know what? It's been a brilliant night. And this is what it descended into, and that's why I didn't film anymore.